CATL's new Tesla Death Star will be fully operational by the end of this year, apparently. And that should be scary for Legacy Auto. And that, my friends, is possibly the understatement of the year. Hello and welcome to the channel. Great to have you here. Welcome back to all our current subscribers and welcome to all of you new subscribers. Great to have you as well. If you are new, make sure you check out some of the thousand videos we've made over the last, I don't know, seven or eight months. There's a lot of good information there about all the new car companies coming to market and what my predictions are over the next decade, which might surprise you. CATL has just broken ground on a 440 million US dollar plant near Tesla Giga Shanghai. Clearly, this is their new Death Star. When I say Death Star, I mean, this is gonna be a 70 gigawatt hour lithium iron phosphate producing battery plant that I think will also make 4680 battery cells for Tesla. This is basically Tesla's CATL plant. Don't get me wrong, Tesla doesn't own CATL. CATL are their own battery behemoth. They're the biggest battery company on the face of planet Earth. They only continue growing at an insane pace and gaining ground over their competitors. That's the crazy thing. The other crazy thing is CATL completed a battery assembly plant in the space of about two months in the third quarter of last year. And no one even said anything about that. That was literally a matter of miles down the road from Tesla's Gigafactory in Shanghai. It won't be long, I believe by the end of this year, by the time that Tesla's Gigafactory in Shanghai becomes the world's largest automotive factory period. I'm not talking about the world's largest electric car factory. I'm talking largest automotive factory period. And that is insane. How do you compete with the world's largest factory getting parts at lower prices and getting batteries at lower prices than anyone else? And CATL obviously is going to offer Tesla lower prices. Just think of the scale here, 70 gigawatt hours of batteries coming from one factory down the road. A rendering of CATL's plant can be seen in this image. Now, the construction of Chinese power battery giant CATL's new facility near Tesla's Giga Shanghai began today, as in literally today, and is expected to make it easier to supply batteries to Tesla and cheaper and faster. Shanghai's Linyang New Area, where Giga Shanghai is located, saw the start of 14 projects in areas including new energy vehicles, biomedicine, and civil aviation on February the 19th, according to a press release from the area's management committee. Now, you can essentially see all these new factories popping up to support Giga Shanghai constantly if you look at these press releases from this area. It's insane. CATL's $440 US million project is among those new facilities. It will have a total floor area of 350,000 square meters. The project will build a green and efficient smart factory in Linyang New Area based on CATL's latest manufacturing technology and experience in building global lighthouse factories to optimize the layout of this new energy industry, the release said. Now, I've got to say, CATL did release a report, I think it was about six to 12 months ago, saying this new factory would be primarily for Tesla and it would produce 70 gigawatt hours of LFP batteries for Tesla. Now, we don't know if they're all going to be LFP. We don't know what size or chemistry they're going to be using specifically, but the word was that they'd be LFP at the time. If that changes, when we find out exactly what those will be, I will let you know. CATL will advance technology development in cutting edge areas and will lay out a system in Shanghai that includes advanced material system structures, extreme manufacturing, and business model innovation, according to the press release. CNEV Post says that the project will focus on research and development of battery technology, including low energy consumption, long range power battery system architecture, low temperature environments to solve the problems of new energy vehicle users, including mileage anxiety amid other technology projects. Neither the Linyang New Area Management Committee's press release nor Yiman's report mentions Tesla explicitly. But based on previous information, the project is primarily aimed at supplying batteries to Tesla, say CNF Post. So it's not just me saying this, this is being said by Chinese media as well. On August the 18th of last year, CATL and the Shanghai government signed a strategic cooperation framework agreement to build a manufacturing base in Shanghai. In a January 7 report of this year, Shanghai Observer said that a CATL plant in Linyang had already begun supplying Tesla a few blocks away in November of 2021. Just quietly, these things happen very fast in Germany. Oh, hang on, what am I saying? Very fast in China and very slowly in Germany. That's what I meant to say. 
little Freudian slip there. According to the report, the plant was converted from an existing facility, saving CATL seven to eight months of time. Although not explicitly said in the report, the facility appears to be able to assemble only battery modules and does not leave the capacity to produce cells. So that was the factory I was talking about that's already begun operations in the third quarter or the fourth quarter of last year. That's the battery pack module. This is the cell plant. In a report on January the 24th from a reporter from the Securities Times who visited the plant on site, he said that it was a battery module base just three kilometers from Giga Shanghai. The Securities Times quoted auto industry analyst Zhang Yang as saying that CATL's battery module base was sited in Linyang mainly to supply Tesla quickly and at a lower cost. So how do you compete with this if you're Legacy Auto? Because there's no Legacy Auto manufacturing facilities set up to service and build cars to sell globally, electric vehicles to sell globally, within even a thousand kilometer radius of a CATL massive battery factory. That's a pretty big advantage, right? To, to have a factory manufacturing cars, literally a matter of three kilometers down the road from where all the batteries and the packs and the modules and all the parts come from. Pretty big advantage. I really don't know how you can compete with that, especially when this is a new electric car manufacturing purpose-built facility. That to me is really a level that can't be competed on unless you're doing the same thing. How else do you compete? I just don't see how else mathematically or logically you can compete based on margins and price. You have to do something else. You have to make some of the shortcuts. You have to say, well, our cars are better because they're made in Japan or America or Europe, but are they really gonna be better? I don't think they will be. Tesla Giga Shanghai's delivery volume last year was close to 500,000 units, which is crazy. But the crazier thing is that for those 500,000 batteries, this is what China said. The battery base is not in Linyang. The transportation cost of the batteries alone is very high, plus the battery transportation cycle is long. In other words, they're going to be reducing costs significantly in two ways. One, battery factory three kilometers away, right? Two, cheaper batteries, because the batteries are gonna be produced en masse at a purpose-built plant, and Tesla's ordering 70 gigawatt hours per year of these batteries. In other words, they'll be getting them cheaper than what they were before. Plus, if they're LFP batteries, then of course the cost is lower than NCA and NCM chemistry batteries. Here's what an employee of CATL said. Our new factory has just broken ground and the exact location is not yet visible, but it will be located next to Tesla's Gigafactory, Shanghai. On that note, thanks for watching. See you again on the next video.